Well, hi friends. Today I am taking a stop at a Goodwill in our city that's about 45 minutes away. There's actually like three or four Goodwills, but this is the one I happen to stop at. And I thought I'd bring you along. I'm doing a little looking for some Christmas items, um, just things that I thought maybe would go in my decor. I always look for like some pictures or mugs. I love mugs, they're just always so fun to have, especially with our espresso. So there's just some things that I'm trying to keep my eye out for. I do have a tiny haul at the end, but unfortunately I didn't have a lot of luck at this Goodwill. So anyways, I always peruse the clothes as well and dresses because there's always some fun ones to find at thrift stores. But I wanna mention, this is a collab with Jen. She is doing some thrifting and I think a haul as well. So she is such a sweet lady, a homemaker. She is also a big thrifter and um, she loves decorating her home in a secondhand finds. So if you haven't been to her channel yet, I recommend it highly. And I hope that you can find some fun thrifting things with her as well today. So, all right, let's keep shopping. So some other things I kind of like to keep my eye out for are stoneware, um, ironstone pieces. I must have been on the hunt for mugs today or something, but this little piece I think is a false graph. I couldn't quite tell with the label on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure it's a false graph piece. So anyways, I like to look at those shoes. I'm always on the lookout for a comfy like house loafer. Keds are nice, but you have to tie them. I like just something nice to slip on. Now these shoes, these are the trend right now. And so I do like to resell. And so I was looking at those to resell. Um, you'll see, I did pick up a different pair at the end. So, and these um, Eddie Bauer loafers were so cute, but they weren't my size. Baskets are another thing I'm always on the hunt for. And you can't go wrong with a light wicker sturdy basket. And just things to put flowers in in the summer. I do like to look at those. And this green color caught my eye, but I didn't get it. I also will always make a pit stop at looking at the lamps too. And then anything that's kind of a unique shape or color I like to look at. So there is what I got to see at this Goodwill. So for the haul, I really only picked up three items and I don't know what happened to our Goodwills in our local city, but they are so sparse and I do not feel like they had anything good. Their prices are really going up. They almost are trying to make themselves look like a department store. So I was a little disappointed in the Goodwills. It had been, oh, probably a year since I'd really been doing a Goodwill, um, just really perusing and looking through. And so I think they got rid of the whole dishware section. That's where I'd find some of my good ironstone. They got rid of just all the, like on top of their racks, they'd have a lot more like clutter. And I like looking through that and it was just, it's so, thinned out but I did pick up three things like I said but I do I do like to go thrifting often and there's some other local thrift stores that have better prices than are goodwill so first thing I found were you saw me look at some Steve Madden shoes I found a different pair these are really popular right now I might keep them I might resell them so I did pay six dollars for these I don't know what they actually would retail for they're scuffed up on the side um these go really well with some nice mom jeans or just things like for the winter months, especially because they're closed toed. They are a trending thing, so I might resell them. I'm not 100% sure, but they're in good condition overall. Like you can see the label in here really well. The bottom is just dirty, that's all. So, really, I thought for six dollars, that's probably not a bad price for these Steve Madden shoes. All right, then I'm a sucker for baskets, if you know me and follow me. This was 275. 
Now baskets at Goodwill have always seemed to be pricey, no matter what, but this is such a darling basket. It has a rectangle shape, that light wicker. I love light wicker and I have wicker baskets everywhere in my house. Pretty much all thrifted or rummage sale finds and I couldn't pass this up. It'd be really cute to store something in it, put some fruit on the counter even, put some of my girls' toys in it. So I really just, this was kind of a whim buy, but I really love using baskets. And finally, you saw me look at this. This is an ironstone plate and I love using ironstone. I got some behind me. I serve on it often. And so this one just needs some cleaned up. It is the Harm Tree House Ironstone Federalist um, Japan. So it was $3, but just fun to find ironstone. It does have a chip on the back. I didn't notice that, but I'm okay with that. You know, I love a little loved look in my home. So those are my three finds. Not a whole lot, but hopefully you enjoyed coming along and seeing what I got to see. I didn't pick up any clothes or anything. I feel like I am pretty set on what I want for fall wardrobe. I did a fall capsule wardrobe, oh, in September. So I also just am trying not to get a lot pre-holiday and I decorate pretty neutrally and with more natural elements for the holidays as well for Christmas time. So I didn't pick up a lot like I might even decorate with this. I love putting ironstone and things like that out. And so you'll be seeing some of my Christmas decorating coming out here this week and next week and throughout the next month or so. But don't forget to check out Jen and give her a hello from Davy if you're headed over there. And so glad you're here if you're from Jen's channel as well. So I do videos like these, simple living, homemaking, and motherhood. So Glad you stopped by and hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. I'll talk with you in my next video.